clearly investors in Ether are looking at this and saying less regulation rather than more, which is good news. But how do you decide whether or not this is indeed a security? Yeah, I mean, the SEC typically looks at things like, is there a company behind an asset that is benefiting from the, the, the money that is raised through trading, issuing that security? And that's been a real test with a lot of these cryptocurrencies. I mean, clearly Bitcoin is sort of moved far away enough away from any particular entity or person benefiting from its share rally, uh, from its rally price, price rallying. There were some questions about Ethereum and Ether, whether, whether there was an entity benefiting from that. So this is good news for investors. And we also see uh, gains in Ripple's XRP token as well, another digital coin following the heels of this announcement. So what does it mean then that the SEC has made this decision? What kind of financial innovation can move forward as a result? Well, yeah, there's a lot of projects in the sort of crypto realm that are, are tied to, to Ether and Ethereum. And, you know, there was questions about if the SEC came out and said it was a security, would that all, all those projects have to go away? So it's a breath of fresh air in that sense. It's interesting that you bring up Ripple. There has been more controversy around that and, and the fact that, that uh, Ripple itself is benefiting from that currency. A lot of people say that, and the SEC was kind of mum on that issue today. It didn't mention Ripple, but it did sort of indicate that there's, there's, there's some tests going on that if you apply those tests to Ripple, there's probably a higher, higher likelihood that it is deemed a security, which ah. is obviously not going to be good for Ripple.